Raspberry 1000 here. Today we're going to check something out. We've got a light on here for the camera, but as you can see, as soon as I turned the key on, the camera did not come on. Let's figure out what's going on and do a little troubleshooting with this. Okay guys, so this light's on. That means it's getting power, right? So why is this not kicking on when we turn the key on? Now this light, that just means it's getting power, but how much power is it getting? Well, I've already checked, checked that. See, this is 12 volt. I've checked that, all right? It's only getting like 11 volts out of it should be getting upwards around 12 to 13 minimum um, when it's running it may jump up to about 14 but I'm pretty sure I know what's wrong with this because I've had this problem before I had to deal with on a Toyota Corolla I think it was or maybe a Camry that it was putting out juice but just not enough so I'm going to leave that key on and I'll show you where to check this at Alright, so out here on these Toyota Tacomas, I think it's what, from 90, 98 to 2004, I know that'll work, it's pretty much the same, but these Toyota Tacomas, it's the 2.4 4 cylinder, right under here, if you look, this is your distribution box, is what it's called, it's also another, let's see, it says power outlet, 15 amp, right here. Okay, so that would be, it should be that one there. So let me um, turn this key off. Back on. All right, now I'm guessing this fuse right here is blown. That looks like that looks like one of them light up fuses. I don't know why it's not lit up, but if I plug something in, it may. Let's see here. Let's go ahead and plug this back in. The key is on. Okay. No, I don't see it lit up. Okay, let me grab. I got my needle nose here. Yeah, okay, yeah, it is lit up. Can you see that? It's lit up. That means it's blown, guys. Now, not all fuses do that, but these expensive ones do. Uh, so, let me see. I got one up here because I do have some fuses there. It's a 15 amp. And I already had them out because I know what it's supposed to take. And besides, the only fuses I've got. Now, let's stick this in there. Okay, the camera did kick on and it is recording. See, goes off now. That light will come on, that light will come on. Or the camera will come on. See, there it is. Okay, so that was the issue. It just wasn't putting enough up through. Now the top one, I think the fuse, if I remember right, is over here. Now if we pull it out of the top one, put it in here nothing okay so what we're going to do is let's check check this fuse panel here see if I can get you get you guys back here a little farther hang on there we go there we go alright so It doesn't say it in here on this. Oops, there you go, like this. But it does have a power for 30 amp. Now, up here it says power 30 amp, but as you can see, it doesn't have one up there, which is weird. Okay. So this, 
this one here the top one is for the ECU this one's for the horn and hazard lights okay there's your stop lights this your STA so it's got all four of those but it don't have a power one on top okay so I'm not sure what's going on with that but over here in the middle one it's supposed to have ACC oh, it's supposed to be 15 amp I see there's a 30 in there um, let me grab my pliers and I'm going to pull this 30 amp out and see what what that's okay um, the 30 amp is blown so I'll bet you that's for that top uh, power or cigarette lighter okay um, it is calling for a 15 amp so we have those I have another one right here let's stick this in here and we might be able to get all three of them working because I think it was yesterday she seen a car almost flip over and it almost hit a pedestrian of course she didn't have the dash cam because it wasn't working so now let's turn the top or turn the key on see if that top one kicks on and it didn't so that wasn't it so let's check further so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get my test light and I'll show you how to check each each one of these real easy if you don't have a multimeter but you have a test light so hang on let me grab my test light okay I have my test light here alright um, now this is pretty cool it will make a noise it comes with different tips this just unscrews out of here where you at? out of here just like that okay it's got one tip that I like that is for like if I got to check one of them wires there that's me I'm smoking uh, let's say I got to check one of them wires and you guys know how many times you prick your finger well it's got a thing it goes around the wire and you just push it up and it pierces it that way you don't pierce your finger okay so let's get this turned on again okay we got the key on now I gotta find the ground and hook my ground up uh, let's find a good ground here I'm not sure if this is ground but let's check Okay, so I'm going to do that to every one of these fuses. Let's make sure the 15 didn't pop again. Okay. There's one here. It's on that side. It also lights up. That one's good. Good. I know it wouldn't be a 7 amp, but... Okay, we already checked 30. Well, the 15 now. I'm pretty sure these are all good because the horn works and flashers work. Now, sometimes if you get one that don't work at all, don't be alarmed. It could only work when you have something turned on. So, okay, so that'll work except this one. Let's see. I, see, I don't know what that's for. Let's put a fuse in there and see what's going on with that. Okay. Let me get. See, which one was it? This one. Okay. Right, so let's get a fuse in here. Yeah, this, see, this is one of them light up. Fuses. If you look in there, I don't know if you can, camera's picking it up. See that white spot in the center? That's an LED. That way, if it blows out, the light will kick on. So you see that light on? They're good to have. They're pricey, but they are good to have. Okay, now let's check this. Okay. Uh, still nothing on the top. So let's. There's nothing in that one. Okay, there's supposed to be something in here, but there's not. So let's put another fuse in that. 
which is weird because the top the top one always did work for a while and I didn't take any fuse out for any reason so okay still nothing on the top one check this bottom here nothing well something on this side but not this side so let's take this top one out I got more fuses but I don't want to use them all if they're, if they're not being used in the truck um, that could be for four wheel drive though see where you at right there see that top one says it's not being used uh, that could be for for four wheel drive which we don't have okay nothing on the uh, let's go ahead and take it out then there's nothing on the top so what we're going to do is I really want to get this top one working in order to do that we got to pull this bezel off okay yeah okay and we're going to check this okay and make sure okay. see if that's working okay could have come unplugged I don't know but let's go ahead and pull this bezel off of here Okay guys, to take this bezel off, it goes all the way up there, there's two screws, there's one right here, and one right here, that will have to come out, I think there's more down below, so we're going to have to take this, this piece off here, which has just got these little inserts in there, so let me, let me grab a screwdriver and let's see if we can get those out of there. Got a little straight screwdriver. Okay, it broke, but that's you know that's what happens to these things. So uh, let's do the other one. I might be able to get in from behind. That's no big deal. Uh, you can get those, and I think I may even have some. And push it, but see, I'm not strong enough with my fingers. Is real pointy. Okay, it's not working. I may have to break this one out and just put a couple bolts in it. Or, well, I guess it pushes in. That one's a little different. Okay, so now. Let's see what else is holding it up here. There we go. It just pops out. I'll show you the clips. Right there. One on over here. Okay, so. Now, there's the bottom ones there. Okay. The bottom power outlets. I'm going to try to see if there's any more. Yeah, see? There's a screw right there. And then the two up on top. So let me get you set up over here so you guys can maybe see a little bit. Kind of hard to do inside this truck like this. But I'm gonna try it. Try to film what I can for you. I'm sure you you get the idea. Okay, so I'm gonna take this bottom screw out here. Well, it looks like this should pop out of here, but I don't know. But let's see here. Let's get these screws out. one tight there's 
two. Now, I'm gonna have to use my stubby. Where's my stubby? There he is. For this side. close guys <clears throat> okay that's gonna suck and I can't get maybe gonna give me a problem so I'm gonna have to just want to strip well let me get this thing out of the way here I gotta unplug these in here that locks it. Let me get a little screwdriver. Okay, I want to show you guys something. This thing, you know, you got to have the key on, right? Get this thing, pull it down here out of your way, right? But if I do that, I can't get the key out, okay? So, let me show you something. If you guys, your battery's ever dead, and it won't register register that you got your foot on a brake or anything like that on these Tacomas there's a little button right here okay well first I'm gonna pull the handbrake a little button there you push that button oh, here I'm gonna set you down here okay all you do is you push that button you don't have to have your foot on the brake and that releases it okay I still haven't got that screw out, so I'm going to have to figure out something to get that screw out of there to try to get this bezel off so I can get this out of here. Okay, so let me go see what I got to try to get up in there. Vice grips, I don't think is going to do it. So let me do some checking and see what kind of tool I got to get up in there. Okay, guys, that screw does not have to come out, apparently. So this should just clip in here on the sides. And up on top. Let's see what? This may have to come out. No? Yeah. Okay. Hang on. Now it should. Damn it. Okay, let me check. Do some more checking on this. It should just be clipped in like the bottom was. Um, I don't think there's any screws in here. But we're going to check. Let me check this before I break it. 
Okay, I got some of her stuff out of her way. I took the knobs off. You seen that? Okay, so this is going to have to come off, and I'm betting there's screws under there. Okay, it just pops off just like that. Okay, all right, now let's see. Yes, there's a screw right there, a couple over here. So let's take some of them out and get you set up here. Can you guys see? Let's take some of them out. I know this one's holding it because I can see it, kind of. I don't drop it and I did all right we'll worry about that later so it's looking like maybe this one Just change the damn cigarette lighter right now. Okay, so okay, I see that screw fell down in here. Alright. This is the switch for your airbag. And down here. That's the lighter, okay? So, um, but I really hate fucking with the damn airbag switches. This is the, the light for the uh, cigarette or the ashtray. So let me. These should just twist and turn out. Supposed to anyway. Alright. Okay, well I'm not gonna mess with that switch up up there, okay? I do want to get this out of here and then I can pull this around and unplug this and we'll see what we're working with. Okay. Well, I can unplug it right here. I just like to have more room to do things, you know. I should just unplug there, guys. Alright. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna check this and see if we've got uh, any juice to it. It's got these little windows here. You pop them open. Oops. You pop these little windows open right here. And that's how you can tell, you know, to put your your tester in there. So let me do that real quick. Okay, guys, I got them open. I only need to check one. One's a ground, but you can check two just in case it's a bad ground. But first, I got the key on. I'm going to stick my, whole, my test light in there. And it's getting power. See that? And then this one white with the black line in it that's a ground so we need to check that too just in case so what I'm going to do is I'm going to clip this this end here I'll show you here I got sweat my eyes hang on just like this into my screwdriver I'm going to put that into the ground and I'm going to put this one in here that's telling me the ground's good, okay? So now, I'm guessing there's a problem with this cigarette lighter here. Okay, so, I'm not sure how these come out. Man, I really need to get this light out of here. They're supposed to twist. You're supposed to just be able to get them to twist and pull them out, but... Apparently, this one's not wanting to play nice, so, just going to pry it out of there. There it is. No, it's just a clip-in, Jesus. 
All right, now let's get this out here where we can work on it a little bit. Okay, I'm gonna shut the key off. Shoot, I forgot. Let's put it up part. Pull this key out. All right. Oh, it's hot. Okay, this is what we're looking at here. And you know what I'm gonna do, guys? I'm gonna go ahead and unplug that. And then uh, we're going to take this and put it on the tailgate so we can work on it. Hang tight. Okay, guys. Here's the cigarette lighter. Let me show you. On each side of here, there's a clip like this that you got to pull out. And that'll unlock it. Now, on this side, as you can see, it's kind of hard to get to. So, let's see if I can show this to you without getting in your way too much. I got a little screwdriver that will go back to this other side. Pop it like that, and then now get this side, pull it out. There's that, okay? Now let's see what else is holding this thing in here. Hi, Monk. Monkey's out here. There's these, these tabs here on the side. I'm gonna have to try to figure out a way to squeeze them in or something. Um, to try to get this off hang on let me let me research this and I'll be back with you so it turns out I didn't have to research anything just push it down out of there so and then I think we turn it turn it to that tab that tab and that slot line up huh? push it out okay uh, looks a little rusty inside there I don't know still what the issue is, uh, why it would stop working, there's not much to them, but worst comes to worst I will fabricate this one out of the Chrysler, this is not a cigarette lighter, it's just the outlet, uh, this is actually for a cigarette lighter, so, see. It clips it in. This is just an AC outlet or power outlet, not AC. Okay, so I'm thinking I might be able to clean these tabs up and then we'll go from there. Let me get them cleaned up and see if it's going to work. Okay, so what I did was I plugged this back in and I grounded it out here and checked the power. And the power did work. When I switched around the other way, it didn't. So it's telling me the ground part, the casing, is grounding like it should. So there needs to be a, see that's your 12 volt there. That's your power. So there needs, there, there has to be something inside of here that's not working right. And I'm betting, looks to me like that wire right there. See it? Looks like that's burnt. Or, you know, right here. That's supposed to be connected. Now what causes that a lot of times, people plugging in things that don't work. Or holding the lighter in too long, it makes them weak. So, I'm guessing that's what the issue is here. It burnt in half. So, if... Yeah, that's what happened. Kind of works like a little fuse. So, yeah, that's that's the issue right there. See it? Those two need to be touching. And they're not. So, that just looks like a bunch of solder. So what I'm going to try to do is I'm going to run something across here and then see if it works. And if it does, then I'll try to find a wire. I don't want to go too thick. I want it to be able to burn in half if it has to. Uh, I may, you know, solder a fuse in there. That would be a good idea. So, let's, let me see what I got to fix this with. Okay, I've got the key on. I'm going to show you how I'm going to test that. 
I got the camera plugged in here. Okay, now I'm gonna take and I'm gonna just short across here. And I seen something happening. There it is. It's kicking on. See it? Okay, so that's the issue. So let's solder something in between there. Okay, guys, this is what I done. I bridged that with a piece of bread tie. Okay, it's doubled. Okay, so what I did was I ran a test to see when that would burn. Okay, this wire will burn in half at 20 amps. All right. Which is good because a fuse pops at 15 since there's another fuse in it at 15. If for some reason it wouldn't pop, if this gets gets to where it gets more than um, 20 amps, this will burn in half. You know, it'll pop in half just like a fuse. So it's, it's essentially double fused. Uh, just the single was 10 amp. Okay, if I just ran it single across it was 10 amp, it would burn in half. When I doubled it at 20 amps, it started to get hot and then just boop, burnt right off. So that's what I did. That's where the rest of the thing went. That's how I checked it. Uh, I think I've got a remnant of it right here. Right there. Uh, I don't think it's going to focus in on it. But that's what I was testing it with. So yes, this is perfectly, perfectly safe. I mean, think about it. This one don't even have one in it. You know? It just straight to power. Now it does have a few elsewhere, but so this is. I could have just ran anything across there, but like I said, I'd rather have it kind of like a fuse, and that's like 20 amp. It takes 15 to run this, so we're good there. So let's take it in and see if it works. Now it should because when I hooked this up to my jumpers on my battery it was working when I plugged something in here so let's make sure it didn't uh, do anything to the inside when we was testing it before so let's go inside plug it in and check it out okay I've got the uh, I've got the key turned on I'm plugging this in just like that now let's plug our camera in oh yeah light came on oh yeah cameras on See? it's actually recording now let's shut the key off there we go all right now let's get this thing put back together shall we all right let's go do this um the uh, uh what was i gonna say While this is out, I'm going to go ahead and take that screw out of there and put it back in. Just in case I have to take this out for some reason, who knows, you know. But just in case I'm talking about future references, I'm going to go ahead and uh, take that screw out of there. And I'll probably have to use a small straight screwdriver, which I can't do. But let me grab some. Okay, now since I've got this out, I can really get a bind on it, hopefully. Let's try to take this screw out now. Ugh, there. Wow, that's pretty tight. Okay, that's all I'm going to do is I'm going to loosen it and tighten it back up. Now let's get this back in here. Remember, it's got this like tab here. It's got to go into this slot and it just pushes in. Just like, just like that. Okay. Alright. Now we're in there. Okay. Now, we're just going to give it a little twist. So that way it locks itself in and it can't come clear out. Okay. So, that's good to go. Um, I am going to pull, bend these out just a little bit to kind of help hold it in there there we go now time to go put it back together guys oh wait this has got to go on I still don't know what this deal is for here 
So this has got to go on. Oh, it holds that on. Okay. Just like that. Okay. That's all it does. Alright, now let's go back in the truck. Okay, guys, while it was out, I went ahead and put the other screw back in here. Now we're gonna I'm gonna go ahead and pull this back down out of our way. Now I'm gonna plug the cigarette lighter back in. Like that. I'm gonna plug no, I can wait on those ones. I'm gonna go ahead and plug the uh, the light. It just snaps in. Apparently, they used used to twist out, but I never had one of these apart this far before. So, all right, now we're gonna plug our um. What I'm doing, I'm plugging the uh, there. airbag switch back in. Uh, as you can see, we got it turned off because I don't want that airbag blowing up my damn face. You know what I mean? If you ever had an airbag go off, you'll know what I'm talking about. When them things deploy, they deploy bad. Sometimes it does more damage than the actual accident. So. I'm speaking from experience. I've had them blow up on me a couple times. Not working on them, but in an actual, you know, hitting something or somebody hitting me or whatnot. Let's see. Gotta get this. Get this lined up. There we go. And that just snaps in. Just like that. So technically there's only one screw down there at the bottom that holds that damn thing. Okay, it's in there. Let me get that screw in. I know you can't see much, but it's down there. Alright. Now we're gonna put this in. Remember, I gotta use it. I gotta put a, a tab. I think I'm just gonna get a tab for that because uh, close that. All right, there. Because uh, I don't like the look of a bolt in there if it's not supposed to be in there. Uh, so that's no big deal. I may have one in there. About that later. I didn't know them ones pushed in, but I do remember now some vehicles that I had to put when I was working at Fruitland Park Trailers. Go check them out if you're in the area and you need a trailer. Um, when I was working there, I remember now a couple of the newer cars. I had to take these out of the uh, the fascia down underneath to um, to take it off and whatnot and inside fender wells but usually they pop out instead of push in but apparently now how do you get it to pop out you gotta reach your hand back in there see that death I don't like that that's ignorant okay so that's back together put our ashtray in I don't use it very much but I do use it sometimes uh, alright now Let's check the top one again. Okay. Turn the key on. I'm going to have a whole bunch of crap on here because it starts recording as soon as you turn the key on. Then, once it's charged, it'll, it'll record 15 minutes after you shut it off. I also got it set to where, like, it's motion, like, if it's sitting still and somebody backs into her, It'll, it'll catch it. Okay, let's turn this on. Yep, I see it lit up. There it is. Okay, now let's check the bottom ones. Damn, the thing pulled out. Did you see that? Let's check the bottom ones. 
Yep, that one. Wow, okay, so they all work. Great. Now, I need to check something else too. I want to check this inverter. Okay, the light's on. I want to check and see if it's going to charge my phone. charging it's charging my phone so the inverter is working I don't know if you can see that up there so yeah it's charging all right so that's good and there's one more thing I want to check here I want to check this thing see I don't know why is that like that oh I got to push them tabs out never mind okay I know why okay see that's lit up so let's see if it'll charge my phone with that. Which that's a fast charger. It'll charge my phone com from completely dead to 100% in like an hour. Yes, it's charging. See right up there in the corner? It's charging. See, watch when I unplug it. Hey. Alright, so that's working. So good, monkey can uh, can charge her phone. And still have the uh, dash cam on. So that's good. Just had this stuffed up in there like that. This in here. And I'll run this wire for here after a bit. I'm not gonna bore you with that. Deal with that after a bit. Okay, let's uh, check it here. So yeah, it's charging. I just want to make sure. Let me go close the hood. Whoops. Okay. All right. Get adjusted a little bit for her. I'm guessing about right there. Take this down put this back in here shut that off now put this back oh I gotta put those screws back in up there uh, let's see where to put them there's one oh that one I dropped This thing has a couple LEDs. Well, they're not LEDs. They're little tiny lights that'll burn out, I think. Like there's one here. They're supposed to pull out. I may have to pull this out and twist it out of the back. I don't want to do that right now. Start this up. Alright, so that's all working. Now, <laughs> I wonder if that'll... Oh, that's too bad. I was going to put it in upside down and see how long it took her to, to notice. Shitting it right. <laughs> uh, I'm funny like that. 
get the knobs on here. And some of them have different colors. This one don't, so. Well, it might be different after all. Because, eh, maybe not. Here we go. Come on, Marty. It must be different. It's different. One, one is different from the other. No? What the hell? Uh-huh. Okay. I see. That little metal ring that goes inside of here. It stayed on the knob, so. Or not the knob, but the thing. No, it didn't. It may have fell down. Might be on the seat. Alright, let me look for that. Can't have gone far. And, uh, yeah, that's what it is. That little metal. See, this has got, see, these got those, is that little metal ring inside there? Inside the D? This one's missing. So, I've apparently dropped it down here somewhere. I'm going to find that, and I'll be right back with you guys. Alright, guys, so, back together. I think should still be working. Turn the key on. Camera kicks on. That's lit up. So of course that's working. So, we're good to go, guys. Okay, guys, it's pretty hot out here. I'm going to get some things done. Um, tonight, I don't know if you'll see this before or after, but we're going to... Uh, I'm going to have a campfire out back and do a live stream, possibly sleep in the tent. I'm going to cook something. I'm actually going to do it in the stove, my homemade stove I made out of the propane tank. So we're going to do that. And uh, so, But right now I'm going to go in and get cooled off, get something cold to drink, and uh, try to get this uploaded for you. Have another one. Stay tuned. Uh, I don't know if I'll be able to get to it today or not, but just stay tuned for it. Uh, and I guess that's it. Enjoy the rest of your weekend. Appreciate you guys watching. Thanks. Remember, Shea Bear the Myth, the Man, the Legend. Uh, I'm gone for now. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already, and click the bell notification icon so you can get more, uh, get notified of more videos like this. So, thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you soon. Bye bye.